Hey, everybody. God bless you. Hey, have you been checking your fruit? I've been traveling, but I'm back now. And the fact is this. Have you been checking your fruit daily? What fruit are we talking about? We talk about the fruits of the Holy Spirit being manifest in us. In Galatians 5, 22 and 23, Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. We're not talking about people are getting permission for people to do bad. We're talking about asking people and letting us show the highlight shine, showing the good fruit that everyone should bear. You know, in, in, in Matthew 12, uh, 33, it says, either make the tree good and the fruit good, either make the tree corrupt and the fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. We want people to know us by the fruits that we bear. And we also need to, if we want to tackle racism and vision and all those other things that try to happen in our country, is to start looking at people individually by the fruits that they bear and let them be known by their fruit. Instead of you sitting there and passing on generation to generation of lies about people just on the basis of the color of the skin or the party, a party affiliation. No, let's start looking at one another based on the fruit that we bear. That's the way to do it. Don't judge people any other way. And don't forget the fact is that in John 13, 34, he said, A new commandment I've given to you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. 35 said, this is how the world will know that you are my disciples, by the love that you have for one another. We are supposed to show the love. Let our light shine. You know, in Matthew 5, 16, it said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That's what we all about to be trying to do, glorify God. When we play racism and division, political uh, division and all that other stuff, we're not letting our light shine. We don't endorse people that show bad, corrupt fruit. We endorse good fruit. One of the things, too, in the father's humility, dealing with racism and all that other stuff, is in Philippians 2, verse 1. Check this out. If there, therefore, be any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercy... Fulfill ye my joy that you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which also in Christ Jesus. Or just you, amen? Let your light shine. Be a good friend.